Hi, I'm Miss Kristen. I'm Miss Kate. Come along and join us for Christ Kids TV. Have you ever gone out to play in a lake or an ocean? I'm out on the lake right now, so let's start with a prayer of thanks. So everybody fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for the gift of lakes and oceans that we can go outside and play on. Help us stay safe and remember to take good care of them. And all God's children said, Amen. All right, see you, friends. priceless treasure god knows me god hears me god is my comfort i am his and there's nothing better forgiven and chosen forever i am a treasure Hey everybody, it's time for a memory verse. I have a special helper with me today. This is one of my babies, Marissa. Hello. All right, remember our memory verse comes from the book of Ephesians and it goes like this. Everybody stand up. Ready? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Good job, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Pastor Tom. Pastor Tom. Hey everybody, it's great to be with you all. You know, I'm not sure if I've shared this with you before or not, but I have two dogs at home and I love them a lot, Penny and Zula. And I've trained them to obey me, to follow rules that I've created for them in order to keep them healthy and safe. Things like stay or sit 
or leave it. But you know what? Sometimes animals don't always listen to us, do they? And my dogs are like that. They don't always obey me. Sometimes they they do things that I don't want them to do. They'll run away from me when I'm calling them to come to me or they'll I'll instruct them to drop a toy and they will hold on to it and not let it go. But you know what? I still love them. I still love them a lot and I still think that they are really good girls and I tell them that all the time. Well, you know, today we are continuing to talk about the armor of God and today in particular we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness. Now that's a big word. Can you say that with me? Righteousness. Good job. Yes. So we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness. Well, what does righteousness mean? Well, righteousness means living the way that God wants you to. Obeying God, following God's rules and laws. So God gives us rules and wants us to obey God just like we want our animals to obey us because we want to keep them safe. God wants to keep us safe and healthy. And so we're called to follow God and to obey God and to listen to God because God loves us so much. God wants to keep us safe. And so when we talk about the breastplate of God, we're talking about the way in which God is with us all the time. God wraps God's arms around us and protects us. Notice how the, the breastplate protects my heart. Because God's rules that God gives to us, the way God calls us to obey God, is God's way of protecting our hearts, of trying to protect us from, from sin, and evil. But you know what? Just like my dogs don't always listen to me, sometimes we don't always listen to God, right? But God still loves us. God still calls us to be righteous with God, and God still arms us with the breastplate of righteousness, loving us, wrapping us in God's arms all the time, protecting us, and being with us all the time. So I want you all to know that God is calling you to obey God and God is surrounding you with this armor to protect you because God loves you so much. Even when we don't obey God, God still loves you. So go out and spread that good news and share that love of God with other people as well. We'll see you next week.
Hey everyone, it's Miss Kate. Today we are learning about the breastplate of righteousness, and I have a really exciting Bible story to share. I bet you've heard this one before. It's the Old Testament story of David and Goliath. Remember this one? David, a little shepherd boy who loved God, battles Goliath, a huge warrior. From the outside, it doesn't look like a fair fight, but David is wearing his breastplate of righteousness. Deacon Kenny told us that righteousness means listening and obeying God. And when we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we are reminded that God is always with us, protecting us from bad stuff, like huge giant warriors named Goliath. Let's watch this video and see how David, in his breastplate of righteousness, bears in the battle against Goliath. Slapstick Theater, David and Goliath. This is David. Hey! David was a shepherd who lived in Bethlehem. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul led the armies of Israel. One day, King Saul was with his army near the Valley of Ella. On the other side of this valley, the Philistines, the enemies of Israel, gathered their army ready to fight. The Philistines had a giant warrior named Goliath who challenged the Israelites. Hey! Goliath spoke badly of God and his people. He shouted and taunted them, saying, Choose one man to come down here and fight me. The Israelites and King Saul were very afraid. Meanwhile, David's father sent David to bring some food to his brothers and their captain. Goliath came out of the Philistines' army, and David heard him shout his usual mean taunts to the army of Israel. Whoa, what? As soon as the Israelites saw Goliath, they began to run away in fright. See ya. David asked, who is this Philistine anyway? that he has allowed to defy the armies of the living God. David's questions were reported to King Saul, and the king sent for him. Uh, hi. David said, don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go fight him. Saul said, there's no way you can fight him and win. You're only a boy. Wait. But David told Saul that he had taken care of his father's sheep and rescued them from lions and bears. Then David declared, the Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and bear will rescue me from this Philistine. So Saul said, All right, go ahead and may the Lord be with you. David picked up five smooth stones from a stream. Then, armed only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight Goliath. When Goliath saw him coming, he sneered at him and yelled bad things at David. <laughs> But David said, You come to me with a sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies. Roar! Goliath moved closer to attack, and David quickly ran out to meet him. He hurled a stone from his sling and hit Goliath in the forehead. The stone sank in, and Goliath stumbled and fell to the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with only a sling and a stone, for he had no sword. But he knew the power of God and trusted God to win the battle against the giant. David, David, David. Isn't that amazing? David was able to defeat Goliath with his breastplate of righteousness, slingshot, and one single stone. That just goes to show how powerful each piece of the armor of God is. So let's be like David and put on our breastplate of righteousness and have confidence knowing that God is always with us. If God can help David face Goliath and win, think about all the amazing things that God can help you do. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV.